And now, NBC 38's Business Spotlight. Hi, I'm Nicole Jones, and you are watching Business Spotlight. We are here to talk about The Wizard of Oz is coming to town. And joining me now is Katie Underwood. She is the director of the show. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. Oh, it's great to talk to you as well. Um, I'm so excited that we are able to bring the show to the stage this holly, um, holiday season. Uh, this is one of those Christmas classics that's multi-generational. Uh, people have been watching this movie uh, on TV for years, and grandparents can bring their children and their grandchildren. Uh, and uh, our cast is just so magnificent, and they're uh, so diverse and exciting, and uh, they bring a, a new life to this old classic. So it's really going to be a treat to bring this show to the stage this Christmas. Great. We absolutely love the Springer, and a lot of people in the community absolutely love the Springer and the history behind it. When exactly can we expect to see the Wizard of Oz, the Wizard of Oz here in this, at the Springer? Uh, we will be opening December 2nd and running through December 19th uh, for three weekends. Uh, there's some uh, Saturday matinee opportunities, some evening opportunities, so plenty of chances to bring your family to the show. Do uh, the audience need to mask up when they come? Yes, uh, we have a gap seat in between each party that buys tickets and uh, masks are still required for all of our indoor performances. Okay, and you're the director of this production. Could you tell our viewers a little bit about what goes into it? And I know it's a lot, but will there be like special effects and things like that we can expect? Yes, uh, so this show, even more than uh, all of our others, has been in the making for so long. Uh, we were expecting to the, bring this show to the stage last Christmas and things were delayed. Uh, so we've been talking about this show with our production staff uh, for about two years now and planning the different special effects uh, when the Glinda the Good Witch arrives, when the Wicked Witch shows up, uh, all of those things have a lot of fun, fun theatrical tricks and elements. So you get to see, uh, it's not quite movie magic, but it's definitely some excellent stage magic uh, to really sort of transport you to Oz. Uh, and so it'll make it a, just a really fantastic experience. I'm so glad that Oz is coming to Columbus. And I think it's a great opportunity for families to get together. I know I said I was going to be more festive with my family this year. So I think that would be just a wonderful treat for families to do. Is there a favorite scene of yours? Oh, the, the whole show is so fun, uh, but really once, uh, once Dorothy is in Oz and all of her friends are together, uh, just being able to work those scenes in rehearsal has just been a joy because each of those, those characters, those actors really embody those roles. Uh, you, could, you could pick them out of a lineup and you know exactly who they'd play. So even whether we're working uh, or whether they're on break, they really are bringing all those different characters to life. And so just having them all together to work those scenes has just been the most fun part of the process. Thank you so much for speaking with us. And guys, please come down and support the arts. Support the Springer. They've been great to our community. Such, such an historic aspect to our loved ones and our families in the community. So where can we go get tickets to check out The Wizard of Oz? Uh, so we'll have tickets for this show as well as our other Christmas production, The Tuna Christmas, both on our website, springeroperahouse.org, or you can call our box office at 706-327-3688.